Ladies and gents, welcome to my roster character prediction for Sparking Zero. So I'm going to be going over the characters that are already confirmed. Those characters are Broly. We have Goku, of course, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Pien, Yamcha, Android 18, Cells in this, Frieza, Hercule, Majin Buu, Future Trunks from the Super Timeline, Bergamo from Universe 9, Android 17, super specifying, Jirit from Universe 11. And that's pretty much the entire roster. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be giving my character predictions on who I think is gonna be at launch. I think a lot of people are gonna be doing these and just like, you know, maybe they might come later, but these are the ones I think are gonna be coming at launch and I really think it's a big roster and I'm gonna tell you guys why. So, let's get on into this. All right, so this is from the Dragon Ball Wiki website. I will be linking this in the description below. So I already have my predictions on what this is going to be, but I'm gonna be going down through each universe, literally through each and every universe. And we're gonna be like going through and see like who basically makes the cut. Like, should you even be there at launch or should you be a later date? I'm basically gonna be like, as I'm going through, letting you guys know like this is the character I definitely think is gonna be there at launch. So, Let's get on into this video. First, we have Ripian, Ripian, actually, the which is the leader of Universe 2 at launch. At launch, there's no way you're telling me that she's not coming at launch. First of all, she was a DLC favorite in Universe 2, if you're going to be uh, honest. And even in the show, she was a favorite and has one of the most iconic scenes in that show when 17 stops her from, you know, the ultimate sin was committed with this character. I'm sorry, this... You, you would think that when you have Android 17 in the same game as Ripper Red, people are just going to try to recreate that. And I think that's one of the big things they said they want to emphasize is recreating Dragon Ball moments. Hope you're catching my drift already. Let's get on into this. So we got Kakunza. Now, in the show, we saw, I think, her and Rosie's uh, moveset a lot. I don't think they would be at launch. In, in fact, if we're just going to go through the whole universe, I don't think... Anybody but Ribrianne is going to be there at launch. I don't even think these guys might not even make the cut. Zab Zarbo Zabuto, whatever his name is, don't think he's going to make the cut at all. These two will. I don't think, I don't know. It's not that we don't, it, I'm not basing it off if we see them or if they use the skills. It's just like more like what do what fans want to use. Now, that's not it for Universe 2. We got Rabanara. I, I don't know how to say the name, but... Don't think he's going to be in this at launch. Might make the cut in the future, but I don't think he's going to be there at launch. I don't think he's going to be there at launch. He might make the cut later. Again, these are like real tidbit characters. So like nobody's going to really care about them. But I know Budokai Tenkaichi is known for adding a lot of characters in this game. So they even had like NPC type characters in the other Budokai Tenkaichi as well. Jimin Su, he's gonna be there. I feel like he he's gonna be there, um, just for the simple fact. Again, he like he relates to Goku, Yardrat, all that good stuff. Um, I just feel like he's gonna be a fun character to play with, especially playing with somebody that again they wanna they want us to dive into that world. So we're like playing as a creator of the instant transmission. I don't know. That seems fun. At launch, could be later, but I'm thinking at launch right here. Uh, the rest of these guys, I don't think are gonna make the cut at all. Again, we're talking a big game. We gotta leave room for the big people. Right now, I'm already putting at launch two out of Universe Two, and that's honestly saying too much because again, these can, except for Bran, can be considered side characters. They're already starting off with Bergamo from Universe What is the nine, and and so like. That's that already tells me a big thing. Like they're they're gonna incorporate more people from the tournament of power, and so we get on into universe three. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Nobody making a gun. We're gonna cancel out universes. There's no way every single universe from just getting one. No way. I'm sorry. There's no way. First of all, we probably don't care about half of these characters here. We see them in the show. They were crucial. Maybe the bot. But other than that. I mean, I'm sure, yes, some of y'all are saying, wait, I would want to play as it. Yes, I'm sure you would want to, but think about the game and who they're showcasing. I don't think, I just think, just cancel this whole universe, universe three. 
Universe 4. Again, cancel the whole universe. I don't see anybody in this list <laughs> being in the Dragon Ball game. Yet alone, again, you have to think about them animating all this stuff and incorporating all these. I'm not sure. Is it fair to assume we could just put whole universes in? I mean, Universe 7. Are we... Who are we taking, who are we taking out? First of all, they're already confirmed to be in the game. <laughs> all of these characters are confirmed to be in the game. Except for Master Roshi. He's got to be at launch. I'm sorry. I'm calling it. We have to. I don't care if it's a hope. I don't care if it's a, a stride. I don't care if it's a reach. I don't care. We, Master Roshi, gotta, gotta get him at launch. Sorry. Calling it. From Universe 9, we have the famous, again, Bergamo, who's already, again, confirmed to be in the game. And then we have Basil. Don't think he's going to make it at launch. I don't think he's going to make it at all. Lavender might. Why do I say the difference between them? Actually, I scratched that. I scratched that. All three of them. All three of them can make it. These two can make it as well. This one, she's again confirmed, and I would think they would add these two in here as well. The rest of them from the universe don't think they'd have room to fit them all, but these two, they would. From universe 10, the only character I can see making his appearance is. Mir Mirakim, whatever. Don't think he again. They have room for the rest of the guys again because this is at launch, and you gotta think like this is a lot of characters already. We already have one. We go back to two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Uh. 24 25 that's 25 characters at launch already that i am just like predicting that's not even counting anybody yet topo jiren who's confirmed so that's 26 27 28 universe 11 i feel like their entire universe 11 can get it wait expand that scratch that we got 28 i think that's actually 29 yeah yeah, that's it. I, I don't feel like anybody else. That's 29 or 30 characters at launch. Now, they have emphasized that this is going to be a historic roster size. Like, they are telling us, yo, this is going to be even bigger. Which, I think, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 had 150 characters by the time it ended its run. And I think at launch, it might have had a little bit below that. But it had at least, at least... 98 characters total, including 161 transformations. Now, I counted 28 characters at launch, including just so characters from Tournament of Power. Remember, this is just Tournament of Power. I have not covered any of the other arcs or sagas in Super, and there are plenty of other characters, but that's for a later video. So, what I really wanted to emphasize was, this is already a good start, a good chunk of characters. 28 characters featuring characters we already have and some we've never even played with before at launch like bergamo think about that we have that character from a different universe and they're focusing heavy on tournament power in my in my opinion we also have broly which again leaves us with about 30 so we have about 30 characters at launch that could possibly at launch i'm saying this is like it's confirmed but i i i think this is my hope at launch confirmed and so I wanted to get into how like they're going to incorporate all this because they again they've been going around emphasizing the producer has been talked to with IGN emphasizing that again they want us to feel like we're recreating Dragon Ball moments and I just want to like really you know get into like another video but people were talking about like Xenoverse is going to end like you guys don't know what you're talking about that's all I'm saying you guys don't know what you're talking about Xenoverse is not going to end I'm going to tell you guys why again in another video. But leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and you want to get on some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Bro, I can't wait to get on into that, baby. Let's go.